Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics at the 2016 Infocom Show, and I'm here with Cameron Lucas from Madison Technologies. How are you doing today? Hey, Paul. I'm doing pretty well. How about yourself? I'm doing great. Uh, it's been a really exciting show. Tell us about uh, the show. I mean, you flew all the way around the world for it. Was it worth it? Did you get everything you, knew you wanted? Well, so far it's been, um, yeah, I'd say it's been worth it. It's been pretty busy. Um, my feet are sore. It's the end of day two. Um, but, yeah, we've seen a lot of great stuff. There's a big, massive bird over on the condor stand. Oh, on the, the Phoenix audio stand, so there's this, you know, a, an actual real condor, so that's pretty impressive, that's pretty cool to see. Um, otherwise, there's, you know, the, the booth here is amazing to see actually in the flesh. Um, so, and there's lots of other suppliers, like so we've seen Icron, and they've got their brand new uh, USB 3, 2 and 1 over twisted pair cable. So that's amazing, it's still, you know, prototype, but that's, that's just fantastic to see that kind of stuff. Yeah. Cool. So let's just talk about the market in general and then any new products that you want to mention. So uh, the unified communication space, the video conferencing space, what are you seeing now that we, everyone's bringing out their new products or what they think the market's going to want in the next year or two? What, have you been surprised by anything? Is, what do you see coming out? Uh, I guess the thing is that we sort of already know the people that we're dealing with. There's nothing that's really surprising, but it's great to see it sort of in the flesh, actually demoed here and seeing everybody's reaction to these new products. You know, so it's not new to us, but new to them. So that, that's always kind of cool, yeah. That's one of the things we always have to remember. We're showing all this advanced things that for us, we're you know, used to, but for nine, time, nine out of ten end users, it's the first time they've ever seen this kind of stuff. So we talked about the unified communication space, you know, this cloud-based video conferencing where the huddle cams are fitting in really well. Um, what do you see about USB-based technology? Oh, it's, it's massive. So, I mean, pretty much every time when you've got people that, you know, need to collaborate via VC, it's all about, you know, USB cameras. So uh, USB extension, as I mentioned, Icron. Sorry, plugging Icron pretty hard. <laughs> Um, it's massive. So yeah, in that whole sort of conferencing VC space, everything is USB. So it's USB audio, it's USB video, um, it, it's, it's all just USB, yeah. And, and I could completely agree with you there. And then this other market, this live streaming, you know, broadcast market where they're more used to HDMI or HDSDI, yet it seems like some of the smaller places are fine with using USB for that application as well. This live streaming market, tell us about what you've seen and, and what you think is going to happen. Yeah, so probably some of the best examples of the live streaming has probably been here on the, you know, the, the PTZ Optics booth, you know, um, streaming to YouTube all day long. It's, it's pretty awesome to see this actually work in the flesh. Um, so obviously there, there's cameras and the audio solutions that get used for that. Um, and then there's the, the video sort of, you know, solutions like things like NewTek is pretty cool. The Wirecast is pretty cool. And vMix, all of those products that's so great that you can get people that have never sort of streamed before and you can make your own live TV show for you know like a really small amount of money you know um, things like the chroma key technology and all that sort of stuff is so affordable now and you can have a really pro level setup for you know what used to cost you basically for a software package or a camera before and now you can have everything you need yeah, it kind of reminds me of what happened at the video conferencing where it was super expensive now it's less expensive. And I think uh, one of the things as a distributor and resellers, what they can take away from this is that there's going to be more opportunities, supply and demand. Now more and more people are going to be doing this. And um, just because it's going to cost less to them doesn't mean the opportunity for everyone is going to be greater. No, I think that, yeah, because the, the cost has decreased, the demand has increased. So there's more people that want to do it. Everybody's sort of saying, well, we can do this ourselves. And so, like you said before, with the capabilities of people doing VC, now you can easily kind of say, well, we have the VC technology. Maybe we can push it into streaming. And you can do both from the same technology with the same hardware. So, yeah, one day you're using your room to do VC. The next day you're using it to push out, you know, a, a live stream. So yeah, it's that's really cool. That's exactly what I w we've been talking about a lot of these days, is that here's the video conference space, here's the live streaming space. And the same pieces are coming together and forming very affordable technology, le leaps and bounds from what, I mean, it's just with YouTube Live and Facebook Live, it's just all happening at once, it feels like. Uh, it definitely. It, it's one of those things that's just sort of turned into a bit of an explosion. And obviously, you've got your uh, more narrow casting sort of services as well that you can use to stream, which are probably a bit more proprietary, probably cost a bit of money. But the free services are just amazing. Well, thank you so much for coming by and uh, streaming to our friends all the way in Australia. Thank you for watching, mates. Anything you want to say to the people back home? Just hello is probably pretty good. <laughs>
sure you'll be flying back soon enough. Uh, yeah, sometime next week. So to everybody back there, I'll catch you next week. Well, thanks for stopping by, Cameron. No